the verb transitive and intransitive verb a verb is a word used to tell or assert something about some person or thing verb comes from the latin verb um a word it is so called because it is the most important word in a sentence a verb may tell us what a person or thing does as david laughs the clock strikes what is done to a person or thing as hari is scolded the window is broken what a person or thing is as the cat is dead glass is brittle i feel sorry a verb often consists of more than one word as the girls were singing i have learned my lesson the watch has been found read these sentences the boy kicks the football the boy laughs loudly in sentence 1 the action denoted by the verb kicks passes over from the doer or subject boy to some object football the verb kicks is therefore called a transitive verb transitive means passing over In sentence 2 the action denoted by the verb laugh stops with the doer or subject boy and does not pass over to an object the verb laughs is therefore called an intransitive verb intransitive means not passing over transitive verb A transitive verb is a verb that denotes an action which passes over from the doer or subject to an object. Intransitive verb An intransitive verb is a verb that denotes an action which does not pass over to an object or which expresses a state or being. He ran a long distance. Action. The baby sleeps. State. There is a flaw in this diamond. Being. Mood. Mood is the mode or manner in which the action denoted by the verb is represented. The simplest use of a verb is to make a statement of fact or ask a question as I write to my brother every week who wrote that letter But a verb may also be used to express a command as write neatly or a verb may be used to express a mere supposition as if I were you I would not do it These different modes or manners in which a verb may be used to express an action are called moods. Lat modus manner. There are 3 moods in English: indicative, imperative, subjunctive. indicative mood a verb which makes a statement of fact or asks a question or expresses a supposition which is assumed as a fact is in the indicative mood the indicative mood is used to make a statement of fact as Rima goes to school daily. We are taught arithmetic. To ask a question as 
Have you found your book? Are you well? In each of these sentences the verb in italics is said to be in the indicative mood. The indicative mood is also used in expressing a supposition which is assumed as a fact as If assuming as a fact that I am to be a beggar it shall never make me a rascal if it rains I shall stay at home assuming as a fact that it will rain etc If my friend wants it one shall give it to him assuming as a fact that my friend wants it etc if he is the ring leader he deserves to be punished assuming as a fact that he is the ring leader etc imperative mood a verb which expresses a command an exhortation an entreaty or prayer is in the imperative mood the imperative mood is used to express a command as wait there come here open your book at page 7 an exhortation as be steady take care of your health try to do better an entreaty or prayer as have mercy upon us give us this day our daily bread in each of these sentences the verb in italics is said to be in the imperative mood